Hello and welcome to our channel, Cheating Exposed. Today, we're revealing another story to uncover the truth behind the lies. So, let's get started. My wife, 37, female, and I, 39, male, entered into an open marriage at her request. Now, she wants to close it up again. My wife and I have been married for 15 years, and we have two children, a 14-year-old girl and a 12-year-old boy. About a year and a half ago, my wife came to me asking for an open marriage. She said she was bored with just us and wanted to experience more. I was very against this, as I strongly believe that marriage is between two people. When we got married, I hadn't had more than five intimate partners, and my wife had only been with me. She made it clear that either we opened things up or she was prepared to file for divorce. Neither of us wanted that, so I agreed under certain conditions, nobody is brought back to the house, we don't talk about our partners, the kids don't know, the family doesn't know, all partners are tested ahead of time, nobody that we both know, etc. I had a strong suspicion that my wife had someone in mind, and this was confirmed when, 24 hours after we agreed, she went out and didn't return until 4 a.m. It was difficult for me to accept, and I was really not okay with it, but I wanted to save my marriage. Last May, I met Amber. Our daughters are in the marching band together. Amber is divorced and has no interest in getting married again. Like everyone else in the world, she does have needs. So, five months after opening up the marriage, I began sleeping with Amber. At first, it felt like cheating, but honestly, it's nice to have something with no strings attached, where neither of us wants it to proceed forward. Over time, I became comfortable with the idea that my wife and I would be able to get our needs met both inside and outside of our marriage. It actually made our intimate life a lot more passionate, and we were much happier. My wife and her side guy, whom I never met, stopped seeing each other in April due to the coronavirus. From what I gather, while he's in an open marriage, his wife is not aware, and it was too hard for him to get away. In May, we helped organize a Zoom concert for the band Kids, which turned out great. That's when my wife met Amber for the first time. Well, I guess Amber had been open with a few of the moms, because it got back to my wife that Amber was my outside partner. My wife informed me that, since we both know Amber, I needed to end things with her. I refused, stating that the fact neither of us knew her ahead of time, and their meeting, did not violate the rules we established. Throughout the past month, she has told me numerous times that she's uncomfortable with me continuing to sleep with Amber and that I need to conclude the arrangement. Note that she was fine with it for a year while she was with her partner. This weekend, she came to me and stated that she'd like to close the marriage again. I told her I was open to that, as long as we agreed it would remain closed moving forward. She agreed and said that's what she wants as well, that she doesn't need to have any more partners, and that she's happy with just me. I told her we could agree to close the marriage on two conditions, the first being what I laid out above, and the second being that I wanted her to sign a document waiving spousal support in the event of divorce. She flipped out. She categorically refused to even consider that. My wife is a stay-at-home mom and hasn't worked since we got married. She said that I could keep seeing Amber and leave her with nothing if she signed that. I told her I'd be willing to include a list of mutually agreed-upon situations, including infidelity on my part, where the agreement would be void. She said it's not open for discussion and that she's not going to continue being cheated on and left with nothing when I decide to leave her for Amber. I pointed out that this whole thing was her idea, and I only went along with it to preserve our marriage. She says that if we don't close the marriage up, then it might as well be over. I told her I'm not going to tolerate being threatened with divorce every time she doesn't get her way. She said I'm being dramatic, and I need to focus on us. Should I agree without stipulations? I know there's no future with Amber, as we both agreed it's purely physical, and even though I know I'm standing my ground, I feel like I'm blowing up my marriage over a dead end. At the same time, I don't believe it's about Amber at all. This morning, I called Amber, reminded her that we were supposed to keep things discreet, and asked who she had shared the details of our relationship with. She denied telling anyone, and I didn't get the feeling she was lying. 
I pulled out my wife's Google timeline history and discovered that she had tracked me to Amber's house in April. She followed me and then deliberately introduced herself to Amber to create a conflict. Here I was, thinking she actually wanted to get involved with the band parents, but no, she just wanted to try to end things with my outside partner. I don't even know what to do at this point. Update To recap, my wife told me she wanted an open marriage. I didn't want it, but I agreed when she said she was prepared to file for divorce. She had an outside partner within 24 hours. It took me a few months. Her partner and she broke up. She stalked me and introduced herself to my partner to try to force me to end it. When that didn't work, she decided to demand that the marriage be closed again. I put conditions on it that she wasn't willing to accept. Now, on to the last month. It's been a very tough month. I confronted my wife about the stalking. She denied it at first, and then I brought up her location history. She attempted to deflect, claiming I invaded her privacy, but I didn't take the bait. Finally, she admitted that she didn't like that I had someone on the side when she didn't, and a mom from the school felt too close to home. I agreed that I would end things with Amber if she would agree to counselling, close the marriage permanently, and start looking for a job to help with household expenses. She replied that she's a stay-at-home mom. I told her it was something we could revisit after the coronavirus pandemic, but when things normalise, she can't just stay home. We did a few therapy sessions, and things went well at first. The therapist challenged her on why she had followed me, asked why she felt she had to go outside the marriage, and had her address pretty much everything that was going through my mind. Then things went south. She admitted that her outside partner was someone from her past, a high school boyfriend. They'd broken up before anything happened, and they had reconnected. She regretted not going all the way with him in high school and decided she wanted to fulfill that desire. I was pissed. I told her that if me choosing a mom from school was too close to home, then her choosing a married ex-boyfriend was completely unacceptable. I told her I didn't even want to look at her. I checked into a hotel to cool off because I didn't want my kids to see me like that. I stayed there for a few days and then decided to go home and deal with what was left of my marriage. When I got home, I found my daughter was being unusually cold to me, even for a 14-year-old girl. She was very dismissive when I asked her what was going on, and eventually, she went off on me for cheating on her mom with a band mom. I asked her where she heard this, and at first, she wouldn't tell me, saying it didn't matter. But after a bit, she finally admitted that her mother told her I was staying at my girlfriend's house after I left. I counted to ten in my head, trying to stay calm. I told her that wasn't true, showed her the hotel receipt on my phone, and explained that her mother and I had a fight, so I decided to take some time away so we could both cool down. She cried a lot, and I promised her that I loved her and would always love her. Though I did my best to remain calm, I was burning up inside. Instead of confronting my wife, I went straight to Facebook and found the guy's wife. I sent her a message, letting her know that her husband had been having an affair with my wife for a year and a half, and I offered to send her any proof she needed. She was very appreciative and said she had suspected something was going on. A few hours later, my wife came to me in a rage, screaming that I had violated the confidentiality of our therapy sessions and ruined the guy's life. I asked her what she meant by telling our daughter that I had a girlfriend. She denied it, claiming she only told our daughter that I was away for a few days. This all went down last Thursday. We haven't spoken since, and we're supposed to have another counselling session tomorrow, but I'm not sure it's worth going. I keep catching her in lies, and I don't think I'll ever be able to trust her again. I know filing for divorce is the smart thing to do at this point, but it makes me feel sick. I feel like I failed because I couldn't make my marriage work. I know that's where this is headed, but every time I try to call an attorney, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Relevant comments AUS Frosty I suspect your wife flipped because she has no intention of staying with you long term. OP. That's exactly what I thought. Believe me, my intention is not to screw her financially. 
She's coming from the angle that she's so sure about us now and ready to close things up. Well, what about a year from now, or two years from now, when she decides she wants someone else and wants to open things up again? I'm not going to be blackmailed with divorce every time she wants it both ways. John Meller. Your marriage is already over. Good luck. OP. I'm coming to that realization. I hate it, but she is not the same person I married. Lady Megby. While he's in an open marriage, his wife is unaware. So, he's just cheating on his wife then. Oh, OP. Yep. Apparently, my wife thought it was open. He told her it was, but he was just screwing around on his wife without her knowing. OP on whether his wife still wants to close the marriage and if the divorce will happen. I first asked if she was willing to agree that once the marriage was closed, it would remain closed. Then I asked her if she'd be willing to waive spousal support in the event of divorce, particularly if she cheated or if I refused to reopen the marriage. She refused to discuss it. I don't want to be in a situation where, six months from now, her outside partner wants to start things up again, or she finds someone else she's interested in and threatens me with divorce unless I open up the marriage again. I have no intention of screwing her financially. I just wanted to see how she'd react to me asking for a guarantee that she wouldn't ask me to open the marriage again. She made it clear she wasn't willing to put her money where her mouth is. OP on how he met Amber. I met Amber through band parents. Our daughters aren't close, but they're both in the band. My wife wasn't involved in the band because it wasn't her thing. With quarantine going on, she was looking for things to do, so she decided to help with the concert. At that point, should I have said, no, you can't because my outside partner is a band mom and I don't want you involved in that circle? Amber was in my circle, not my wife's. My wife had nothing to do with the band until May, a full year after I started seeing Amber. It turns out, there was a very specific reason my wife decided, all of a sudden, to get involved in the band. I started seeing Amber in May of 2019. My wife had been with her guy since December 2018. 